Mayville State in their road blues, blue tops, blue shorts. Mayville in white above the number, State in white below, and the white numerals in the middle, front and back. A little bit of a checkered look, blue and white down the side. It's kind of like a Kentucky Wildcat uniform, Georgie. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Tennessee Volunteer end zone, only it's in blue. There you go, exactly. Cooper and Cruiser jump center circle, ball in the air, tech controlled by Rocky. Luke Chittam, Mike Kaszewski, and John Washoe are our officials in this game. And Mayville State starts out in a 2-3 zone. A little different look here for NDSU. Pass middle of the lane, shot by Ward, no good. And the rebound to the Comets, so a 2-3 zone. Yes, yeah, the first time the Bison have seen zone in this young season. Left corner three on the way, no good. That's by Melendez. And the offensive rebound to the Comets inside Cooper. Turns, faces, backing his way down on Cruiser. Trying to bowl his way in. Tough shot, Cooper, good. Over the top of Cruiser, 2-0 Mayville State. Zones usually don't work against the Bison, just ask Pro Roberts. Exactly. So we'll see how long the Comets stay in this one. And again, 2-3 zone for Mayville State. Here's Shahid between the keys. Vinny with it, pass inside Ward. Ward, one dribble, kicks out. Greasel the up fake to Samuelson. To Vinny, extra pass, Cruiser. Right wing three, coming short, no good. And the rebound now to Melendez. He will push middle of the floor. Melendez kicks back out. Around the perimeter goes the basketball. A drive by Valverde in the lane. Tough shot, no. And the rebound to Sam Greasel. Greasel brings it across the timeline. Samuelson, Cruiser. Jared might enjoy this zone. The last time he played the Comets, he set a new record. Ward attacks Cooper, has it stripped away from behind, and a whistle and a foul call, I believe, on Franklin. And fouls, yes, Latrell Franklin, 5'8", junior guard, Temecula, California, his first team foul number one. Well, I think it's just a curveball try by Mayville State because the Bison obviously probably weren't expecting zone out of Mayville. I certainly wasn't. So, uh, you know, you can play it for a few minutes and see what uh, you get out of it. Absolutely. Free throw good by Ward as he had 12 points all in the second half. Two at Kansas State. And off to a better start here. Second one money. Tied to two just over 90 seconds into our first half. Coach's choice scoreboard. Comets 4-1 on the year. And have gone again to back-to-back -back NAIA Division II National Tournaments. Valverde swings over, a drive by Franklin. He kicks it out left corner. Valverde swings out now to Melendez. Back over, Franklin left wing triple. In and out, no good. And the rebound to Ward. Mabel State can score the basketball. I'll tell you about it coming up here in a moment. Still in that 2-3 zone. Ball movement key here. Cruiser, short corner now, Ward, right side, Ward, middle of the lane, Greasel spins, pivots, pivots again, tough shot, falls out, no, rebound, battled for, who's it off of? Off of Ward. Almost looked like if Sam would have shot it right away, it would have been a better shot than what he had. You know, the way you attack a 2-3 is get someone to the free throw line, that's exactly what Greasel did right there, and uh, you get that mid-range look. He tried to attack the rim there, I think next time maybe try to, that jumper that yeah. they're going to give you in the middle there. 2-2 two two is the score early. Here's Melendez, hesitates, floater blocked by Ward. Tyson grabs the rebound. Now Ward leads the break across the timeline to Rocky. Rocky in a double team. Now right corner Ward, 2-3 zone, Mayville State. Here's Ward on the attack to Vinny. Good look at a left wing triple. Off the back of the rim, no, and the rebound to Melendez. Outlet pass over to Valverde. Valverde will attack, kicks out Melendez in the corner, Franklin along the baseline. He drives, he kicks it out now to Cruz. Cruz, handoff Franklin, good ball movement. Here's a bounce pass inside, Cooper underneath and a double team, shot blocked by Rocky, and Rocky grabs the rebound. Cruiser led the Bison with 39 blocks last year, second in the Summit. So, still a 2-2 ball game, three minutes in. Shahid between the keys. Vinny, now will drive, still on the attack, right block, nice pass to a cutting, Greasel reverse layup, good. Great movement without the ball by Sammy Hoops. Yeah, and working the baseline there, get deep uh, and pass, uh, keep your eyes open, move without the basketball, perfect possession. Four to two, Bison, Franklin pull up jumper, look out, way off, Sam was in his face and that altered the shot, rebound by Samuelson. Now Shahid with it, top of the key. Shahid to Samuelson, to Shahid inside Ward. Again, a backdoor cut, look out below. Great luck by Ward and Greasel along that left baseline, finding the opening. Yep, probably time to bail on the zone for Mayville. Six to two, 
Comets are all of their last five from the field. Melendez with it, free throw line, floater up the window, no. And the rebound to Griesel. Now Shahid leads it across the timeline. Vinny inside out, dribble on the attack, nice pass, Ward, shot of the way, go on, count it, and one. As Ward got Valverde off of his feet and a chance for a three-point play. An 8-0 run by the Bison and a timeout on the floor. The 15-54 to play first half. Coach's choice scoreboard, 8-2. North Dakota State will take a break. This is NDSU basketball on the Peterson Farm Seed. Bison Radio Network. All right, that'll do it. That's some new shoes today. Did you? Sarah online, like, like I went and got them. <laughs> Sarah online shopping. Oh, nice. Not bad. Oh, yeah, looks sharp. I'm rough on shoes. I kick, like, kick my toe in the ground. I, I love new shoes. Smell nice. Feel good. Yeah. thousand square feet of commercial real estate in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. Whether you are looking to lease an apartment or a commercial building, call Roars today at 701-356-5050. Ward, free throw, good. Cameron Hunter, Chris Quayle, Tyree Eady all in for the Bison as Shahid, Samuelson, and Griesel sit down. It is a 9-0 run by NDSU, up 9-2. Here's Simon Ramirez in the ball game as well, along with Tobin Lawson. Here's a long triple by Cruz. Lefty three, too strong, and the rebound to Cruiser. Now Hunter to Edie down the floor, far sideline, back to Cam. Still 2-3 zone for the Comets. Middle of the lane, Ward turns, faces, going to work. Top shot, the window good, just too strong. Ward went by Lawson, and a great start for Tyson Ward. He has seven. Well, Mayville can score, but they're one of nine uh, shooting the basketball here. Probably some nerves. Here's a jumper on the way. Too strong, no good by Ramirez, and the rebound of the Bison. Yeah, an 11-0 run. All of their last eight, the Comets. And just like on Tuesday night, bigger teams speed you up. That's yeah. what happened to the Bison against Kansas State. I think we have that same type of factor going on right now with the Comets from NDSU. Now Cruiser, oh boy, threw it away. Rocky put the ball in the deck and bounced it. Tried to bounce it to the left block and Ward wasn't home. Turnover. 11 to two, NDSU, 14-48 left. First half, coach's choice scoreboard. Valverde brings it across over to Lawson. Back to Franklin, right wing. Franklin works the screen. Franklin swings over. Now Cruz, handoff Franklin, right wing. Top of the key, Valverde on the attack, behind the back, dribble back out, Cruz, another high, arcing lefty three, short no good, long rebound, nice job, Hunter, boxing out Valverde, Bison ball. Here comes Malik Harden-Hayes, the 6'7 freshman from Moorhead, and Tyler Witz, the 6'9 junior from Clearwater, Florida, only Central College. Ward and Cruiser sit down, and the Bison now have played 10 total players in the first five and a half minutes. Dominic Schuster, the freshman from Mintos checks in for Darren Ty. So five new ones in for David Richmond right now. Yeah, I thought Witz did uh, some nice things the other night. I thought he showed some physicality and some toughness. Hunter, top of the key, still the zone from Mayville State. Edie, inside Quail, free throw line, attacks, leans in, shot blocked out of there by Lawson, and a foul called on Quail. So Quayle, credit him for being aggressive, but Lawson grabbed that one right away from him, and Quayle called for the foul. People asking, will we see Malik Harden-Hayes? Well, the answer is yes, we saw him Tuesday night. Briefly, drew a charge, made some nice hustle plays, and here he is. And David Richmond has loved what he has seen from Harden Hayes. Long triple, short no good that time by Ramirez, and there is a lid on the basket. 
for the Comets. All of their last 10, a scoring drought of over five and a half minutes. That was a good closeout by Hayes right there. Quail, the attack, backdoor cut, Edie, reverse layup, left side with a right hand, good. Nice pass by Quail, Edie on the board, 13-2, 13-0 run. You know, sometimes with the freshman, it's the little things that take a while, but a closeout on a shooter, Malik Harden-Hayes did a good job on the last possession. Weave out front, here's a drive, a pass tipped away, run down by Valverde. Now he swings out, a left wing, three on the way, good by Ramirez. That ends a 13-0 run in a drought of over six minutes for Mayville State. Edie with it, fresh off a bucket. Now Harden-Hayes, left corner, travel. Just switch the pivot foot. And turnover back the other way. Third turnover by the Bison. Seems like they call that more and more. And it, it, it becomes tighter, and you just have no margin of error. Yeah. You got to really put it down before you move. Um, and they've emphasized that more and more as the years have gone on. Fr Franklin back in, Valverde out for Mayville State. 13 to 5. NDSU seven minutes in. Coach's choice scoreboard. Here's Franklin. He's shifty. He's quick out there. Thomas Chiski is in the ball game as well for the first time. 6'3 freshman from Sartell, Minnesota. Back out Ramirez, he'll drive, cut off. Back out to Chiski on the attack, all the way to the 10. From left wing to right block, and the layup is good. 13 to seven now the score. And Mayville State has said we're good with that zone. No, they're not, they're still in the zone. Went man to man across the timeline and fell back into the zone. Witt's going to work, nice move. Spin move to the left hand and the finish. Witz went right at Lawson, his first bucket. There's all kinds of space in the middle of the 2-3 zone and the Bison are attacking it well. 15 to seven, NDSU. Now here's another left wing three. Good, Ramirez, another one from downtown. And a timeout called by Darren Ty. So after a slow start offensively, the Comets have made their last three buckets. And Simon Ramirez is going to work. The junior from Fremont, California. He's made 16 threes coming into the season. He's got two here early on. It's 15 to 10. Here we got a timeout on the floor. We will take it as well with 12 11 to play in the first half. Coach's choice scoreboard 15 to 10. NDSU. This is North Dakota State University basketball. I thought it was just a 30 there for a second. <clears throat> oh boy. Month of the Northland, and we're tougher up here. The only truck worthy to take on the task is the Ford F-150. Check out a new Ford Now by visiting buyfordnow.com on your local Northland Ford dealer today. Out of the timeout, Bison ball, Harden Hayes, the up fake of the free throw line, back to Quail. Quail attacks the elbow, back to Harden Hayes. The up fake, now to Quail. 15 to 10, NDSU on top. Here's Hunter for a long triple, off no good. And the rebound tap to Cruz of Mayville State. Across the timeline is Franklin. Cross court to Cruz. Cruz handoff for Ramirez, who's starting to warm up a little bit with back-to-back -back threes. A line change coming for the Bison. Nice spin move by Franklin off the window. And Mayville State now has made their last four. It's 15 to 12. Franklin's quick. Uh, he's Ooh. good with the ball, too. Very quick. Edie on the right wing. Now Edie back to Hunter. Hunter behind the back, gets a screen. The up fake, pass inside Wits and a double team. Good hands in the finish. Tyler Wits, good strong hands and kept the ball high. Yeah, there's just no contest inside right now. Keep feeding it in there. Wits has four, the lead is five, 17 to 12. 
Cruz, weave out front, right wing over to Franklin. Now guarded by Quayle. Franklin on the drive, shifty, back out to Cruz. Cruz, ooh, they get, he gets free, pass inside, the up fake Cooper, lost it, knocked away, saved by Edie. Had a layup there, but he couldn't hang on. Now Hunter swings over, Quayle left wing, three on the way, got it! Three! Bring it up for Chris Quayle from downtown. He made 12 of them a year ago, 20 to 12, Bison. He's been more aggressive offensively in the first few games here. Uh, a different uh, idea from him as, from last year. Off the window, the floater by Franklin on the bank. He's got back-to-back -back buckets, 20 to 14, 10-20 left in the first half. On our coach's choice scoreboard. Hunter. Now over to Quayle, 2-3 zone still by Mayville State. Quayle left wing, back to Cam, top of the key. Now floats at right corner, Harden Hayes to Edie, to Hunter. Hunter will drive, Hunter stops, spins, pass inside again, whips with the right hand, and the finish, and you're right. There's just nobody down there that can match up with that size. He plays 30 minutes, he might have 30 points. Yeah, he's got six, the lead is eight, 22-14. Weave out front, Cooper, Franklin, got Hunter off his feet, he'll drive, back out Ramirez. Ramirez, one dribble, long step back triple, good by Ramirez. He's got three threes, and that was a toughie right there. 22-17, he's got all three of the threes for the comments. Here's a baseline jumper by Witz, in and out, no good, Edie put back layup, missed it. Rebound, Harden Hay skies in traffic. He goes up strong, fouled on the way up. See the athleticism there from Malik Harden Hay skying up over the top and out of the line to shoot two. You know, that's another good sign right there. He could have uh, set out on the arc, uh, not crashed the boards there. That was a third attempt right there, but he came inside and got the cleanup right there. That's a little intangible. Nice for a freshman. Foul was called on Cooper, his first free throw. No good off the heel. All right, five new ones for the Bison as NDSU puts their starters back in. Mayville State has Valverde return along with Melendez. And now Malachi Wari in, the junior from Marysville, California. Four points, three rebounds per game. Harden Hayes, second free throw. Missed them both. And the rebound to Cooper. So he will stay in. Griesel will wait until the next whistle to enter. 22-17, Bison up by five. 9-10 left first half. Coach's choice scoreboard, offensive foul, top of the key. As Melendez went to drive with the right hand, Ward beat him to, to the spot and drew a charge. Griesel in, Harden Hayes out. First foul on Melendez. Checking back in is Lawson. And Ramirez will take a seat. Three threes for Ramirez. Pretty good minutes there. Comet still in that zone. Bison up by five. 11 minutes in. Here's Shahid with it. He'll attack. Probe his way down the lane. Now back out right corner to Griesel. Griesel back to Vinny. Came open for a long three. In and out, no good. Look at Griesel. Sky for the rebound. Sam up strong with the put back, and it's good. The elevator just kept going up to the next floor, and Griesel with the finish. Cruz dribbles, picks up right wing, knocked away. Now back out to Worry. Worry with it, handoff, Valverde. Weave out front, Cruz, free throw line. Now Melendez on the attack between the legs, lost it, got it back, back and down Shahid. Middle of the lane, tough shot, no, traveling. A lot of dribbling there from Melendez, and he turns it over. Seven-point Bison lead, 24-17. Now some pressure, middle of the lane, middle of the floor, Ward in the attack, he dribbles it, gets it knocked away from behind, and it's off of Tyson. Was not paying attention, turns the ball over. Back quickly the other way to Mayville State. Tyson pointed at his ear there, said, fellas, I need a little communication that the quickie's coming behind yeah. me. Yeah. Warry has it, right wing. Warry rips through, now Lawson. Swings over left side to Valverde. Valverde starts to drive, cut off. Now Lawson, free throw line, back out Valverde, penetrates the lane, down low Lawson, back out Cruz, left wing, triples good. He's a guy that hasn't made a ton of them for Mayville State, but that one falls his sixth of the year. They do pass it well, they're moving the ball well right now. Shaheed, left wing. Shaheed, looking free throw line. Vinny, right wing cruiser. 
Cruiser to Shahid. Now left wing Samuelson, Griesel in the corner, along the baseline, pass inside, Cruiser couldn't handle it, turnover. Back the other way. Here's a drive by Valverde, back out, kicks to Melendez, the secondary break. The three is good by Rene Melendez, and don't look now, it's only a one point lead for the Bison. Well, they can score. Now we're seeing it. Uh, I think they had some nerves early, but they're firing away right now. 93 points per game through <laughs> five by Mayville State. Fifth best in the NAIA. Staying in that zone. Samuelson, Shahid. Shahid the pump fake. His pass inside tapped away. Run down by Grizo. The cruiser for a three. In and out, no good. And the rebound to Valverde. A chance for the Comets to take a lead. Here's a spin by Valverde in traffic, stripped away by Shahid. Now Venny middle of the floor, three on four. Venny will attack, he'll take it himself. Shot's no good, but a foul called on the break. And it's on Melendez. It'll be his second, team foul number five. And we have a timeout on the floor. Only a one point lead, 24-23. Comets, 2-3 zone, give the Bison some problems. Here's Ward, left corner. Ward crosses over, cut off by Chiski. now he'll drive, nice pass into Griesel who rises up and puts it in the hoop. Griesel now has eight points to lead all Bison scorers. Lock him down on this end now. 26-23. Glory with it right wing, Cruz the up fake over to Valverde. Valverde guarded by Shaheen, hounded by him. Now Jiski, right wing to Iker Cruz. Cruz around the perimeter goes the basketball. Jiski pass inside. There is Ramirez back in his way down. Tough ball away shot. No, but he was knocked to the floor. And a foul. That's on Vinny. That's going to be his first. And team foul number two on the Bison. Two free throws now for Simon Ramirez. To the free throw line for the Comets, number 23, Simon Ramirez. And hey, Ramirez has been instant offense off the bench. Three threes and nine points, looking to be the first in doubles tonight. <laughs> Ten points, here's Hunter in, Samuelson out. And Franklin back in. And Melendez sits down for Mayville State. Ramirez. Free throw, got it, he's got 11. He had 14 points on four threes in the win over Dort last Saturday. 26-25, North Dakota State. Shahid brings it across, Comets in the 2-3 zone. Pass inside, kick out left wing, no tech, way off. And the rebound to Valverde. He wants to push at the free throw line. Back out Ramirez between the legs. Now over to Valverde on the bounce. Lost it and taken away by Hunter. Hunter in transition. Hunter leans in. Tough shot. No, he missed it. Rebound. Battle for Ward tapping it around. Still loose. He saves it into Griesel. Now no tech the up fake along the baseline. Lost it. Got it back. Knocked away. Still loose. So whistle. What do we got? In a reaching, I believe. On Valverde. Yep, foul on Valverde, that's his second, team foul number six. Boy, Franklin and Valverde are, are little water bugs yeah. out there. They got the good hands, thing. they're quick, uh, they're just little pests out there that make it tough on you. Ward into Hunter, right wing. Quick pass inside to Ward with the right hand, and good. Great find by Cameron Hunter. And Ward now has nine. Mayville State has made their last eight shots. Wow. 28-25 after the trout, they have are on fire. Comets streaking offensively in a drive and a foul on no tech. As Franklin tripped up. Here comes Cooper in for the Comets and Cruz will sit down. Quail in, Shahid out for NDSU. 28-25, Bison, 4.58 left, first half. Coach's choice scoreboard. Valverde will inbound into Franklin, left corner. Over to Ramirez, now right wing, back to Valverde. One dribble, picks it up, back to Ramirez. Ramirez on the bounce, back door cut, G-Ski, and the layup is good. He got by no tech, not sure if Jackson tripped, but he fell down, and a back door layup for G-Ski. 28-27, NDSU, no tech, Griesel, Hunter, wide open, look at a three, shorted it, and a tap try, no, but a foul as Jiski undercut Ward. Good sportsmanship helped him up. 
And that'll be his first, team foul number seven, the one and one for Tyson Ward. What do you make offensively of this Bison team right now? Well, I feel like they're getting good looks. They're moving it around. The shots just aren't going in right now. Uh, they usually shoot it well at home, uh, but that was a wide open look right there. And, uh, you know, just keep putting it up, uh, just not in rhythm yet. Ward, free throw good. He's got 10. Edie back in, no tech out. 29-27, North Dakota State, 4.31 left first half. Coach's choice scoreboard. Ward, money, he has 11. He is six away from joining the 1,000 point club here at NDSU. Now Hunter shadows Franklin across the timeline. G-Ski handoff Franklin between the keys. He dribbles left wing. Hands off now to Schuster. Schuster, right elbow, picks it up. Back out, Franklin. Drives, here's a scoop shot. No, rebound, Griesel. Franklin got around Quayle, tried to put it up with that left hand. Hunter, Edie, left wing, triple coming, no good. Rebound, Ward grabbed it off the board, put back, good off by Tyson Ward. 14 points, five rebounds for Ward, 32-27, Bison. Good position right there, get under the basket, the shots aren't going, you could get a cleanup. Schuster, now to G-Ski, to Franklin, left wing. Franklin, triple threat, looking for help, now will drive on Hunter, cut off, bounce pass inside, knocked away by Griesel, picked out of there by Hunter. Hunter, middle of the floor, across the timeline. Hunter, top of the key, in the lane, Edie, bounce pass, there's a back cut to lay it good! Almost lay it by Tyson Ward, and Ward's feeling it, he's got 15. Baseline kind to the Bison offensively right now. Along the zone, they're finding that opening, and now a 6-0 run by NDSU, all by Tyson Ward. Top of the key, Schuster for a triple, that's good! Nothing but that by Dominic Schuster. He knocks it in, and Mayville State after a slow start, is hot. 34-30. Yeah. Bison. Inside the ward again. The up fake, the pivot. Top shot along the baseline. No good. ED offensive rebound. Put back. He got it to go. Hung on the rim for a half second. That made your heart flutter a little bit. But ED drops it in. 36-30. to You know, when the tempo slows down, the Bison dominate in the half court. Uh, Mayville wants it up and down. Uh, and they kind of have the... The, that in their favor right now. Franklin lost it, ball knocked away, far sideline, the, the scores table, whose ball is it, I believe, is Mayville State. And we have a timeout on the floor. 2.38 to play, first half, coach's choice scoreboard, 36 to 30, North Dakota State. The Case IH dealer today. It did turn out to be off of Mayville State, so it is Bison basketball out of the timeout, leading 36 to 30 with 2.30 left, first half. Wardle on the baseline, he's fouling the way up and bumped into that time by Marin Lasica, a junior from Split, Croatia, who has not seen much action here this year. Big body. It's a big body at 6'9". Here's Tyson Ward at the line, free throw on the way, money. And Ward is one point away from joining a prestigious club here at NDSU. Second one. Good, and welcome the newest member of the 1,000 point club at North Dakota State University, the senior Tyson Ward from Tampa, Florida, just a 35th player all time to do so. Great accomplishment, that's a lot of points. He needed 17, we thought he might get it in the game, he's gotten in the first half tonight, feeling it. And I believe he scored the last eight for the Bison. Here's a drive, and a strip from Melendez, taken away by Hunter. Hunter in transition, goes up on the first hand! Yeah. 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 A right hand, one hand, crush by Hunter in transition. Off of the steal. Back the other way, the Comets. Here's Valverde on the attack, floater in the lane. He runs over Hunter, but Hunter does not get the call. They say he was in the circle, called for a block. Shot was no good for Valverde. Hunter picks up his first, team foul number five. Didn't seem like he was that deep. Uh, had to be right on it. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. So how bizarre has this happened offensively for Mayville State? They missed 10 of their first 11 shots. Free throw, that one, no chance. Since then, they've made 10 of their last 11. So missed 10 of their first 11, have made 10 of their last 11. That free throw tested the basket, Mike. 
That one no good. And the rebound deflected out of bounds by Cruz. And oh, Valverde not comfortable at the line on that trip. 40 to 30, the Bison looking to put a little bit of distance between the Comets here at the, before the half. Hunter works it across the timeline. Here's Hunter, now Griesel. Pass inside, free throw line, Griesel. He drives, he pivots, he spins, lost it, got it back strong. Number five, the finish Sam by Griesel, who now's in double figures with 10. The lead is 12. A 14 to three run by the Bison. Here's a dribble by Worry. The handoff now Melendez, and he throws it away. Looking for Worry, not on the same page. Right into the hands of Kyan Brown. Turnover. And Ramirez back in. Melendez will sit down for Mayville State. And the Comets starting to turn the ball over now. Four turnovers in the last three and a half. Quayle gets it left wing into a cutting Greasel. Now along the left baseline, back out to Chris Quayle. Quayle, Hunter between the keys, right wing Edie. Edie will drive along the baseline, he's cut off, needs help, back to Griesel. Pass inside, Ward to Quayle, free throw line jumper, rattles home 13. for Chris Quayle. And Quayle now has five points, 14 point lead. Quickly back the other way is Worry. 50 seconds left in our first half. Worry will pivot, he'll attack, a tough shot, no good. And the rebound, Hunter taps it to himself. Here's Cam on the attack, middle of the floor. Hunter in the air, nearly caught off balance, gets it over to Edie, back out. Griesel for a right wing triple, no good. And the rebound to Cruz. Final 30 seconds, four second differential, game clock to shot clock. A 16 to three run by the Bison over the last four minutes to create a little distance, 44 to 30. Final 15 seconds of the half. Here's Ramirez, 10 to shoot. Ramirez, handoff now, Valverde. Valverde wants to drive all the way in. Tough floater off the window is good. Final six seconds, long pass down the floor, tapped away by Cruz. Lasica, now Valverde. Valverde will have to launch. He throws it up as the clock expires, and it hits off the side of the window, no good. Now 20 minutes in the books, and Mayville State, Battle with the Bison in the home opener here in 2019-2020. Halftime score, coach's choice scoreboard. North Coast State leading Mayville State 44-32. by Shahid, his first points of the night. You know, it's been pretty, pretty long time since the Bison have shot like this in this building from deep, uh, one of 12. Uh, boy, they just really shot it well the second half of last season, yeah. really got in a rhythm here. Haven't had a, a drought like this at home in a long time. And here's the free throw by Vinny, good. Three point play, 47-32. North Dakota State on top, up 15 on Mayville State. Here's a drive and an attack and a tough shot by Valverde off the window right block area. Valverde with four. Tough finish there, strong finish. Penny with it again, quickly over to Ward. Ward, 
Now we'll drive, now cut off. Inside Cruiser, right elbow, one dribble. Cross court Greasel in the corner, Samuelson. Back over now to Greasel inside to Ward. Backing his way in on Cooper, the up fake. Top shot, missed it, no good. And the rebound to Valverde. Across the timeline, here's Franklin behind the back. Now dribbles out right wing, hand off Valverde. Valverde, Melendez in the corner, Cruz. Cruz, couple of dribbles near the free throw line. Hand off Franklin, comes open, pull up 16 footer, no. Rebound Kreisel. Just like this first half, Mayville State starting this half cold. Here's Shahid, great pass inside. Ward's blocked by Cooper. And the block by Max Cooper, the senior from Minnetonka. Now back the other way, Valverde. Melendez for a long three, no. Rebound tapped out, grabbed by Cruiser. Bodies on the floor, going after the rebound. Shahid with it, works the screen. Shahid Nataraki along the baseline, short corner ward inside Samuelson. Couple of dribbles, Vinny, top of the key, three on the way, no good. And the rebound to Cooper. The Bison are one for 13 from three. We are not used to seeing that. No. Nope. Left wing, Cruz. Cruz dribbling around the perimeter. Hand off now Valverde to Melendez, now to Franklin. He drives along the baseline, left block, the 5'8 guard amongst the trees. Now dribbles back out, hand off. There should have been an offensive foul, yep. no call. And the shot no good, the rebound to Greasel. Samuelson got shoved. Yes, he did. Long pass down the floor. Ward, great hands, taps it to himself and finishes on the right side off the window. 49-34, Bison up 15. Valverde, right wing extended. Cross court pass to Cruz. Cruz back to Franklin, guarded by Shahid. Man to man defense by NDSU. Quick move by Franklin, pull up jumper too strong. And the rebound to Greasel. Greasel has eight boards here tonight. Now Shahid cut off, slows it up, left wing. Shahid a little shake and bake. Oh, nice pass into Ward, look out below! A man's dunk along the right baseline with the left hand flushed by Ward, he has 21. That one brought the house down. 51-34, largest lead and a blocking foul call by on Ward. He gives a thumbs up to our official saying nice call as Cruz was dribbling and Ward maybe didn't quite get there. And we have a timeout on the floor. Four minutes in, first half, coach's choice scoreboard. Good start for the Bison. They lead Mayville State 51-34. This is NDSU basketball on the Peterson Farm Seed Bison Radio Network. Ladies and gentlemen, get your raffle tickets out. We have our winner for the Teammaker 50-50 raffle. The winning number is A100413. That's A100413. You just won $281. Please report to the teammaker table with your ticket. Buffalo Wild Wings is elevating its food to a whole new level. Check out their brand new and improved menu featuring new hand breaded tenders or hand breaded chicken sandwiches. Grab your friends and get to Buffalo Wild Wings across from the Park of the Home tonight. Bison fans, it's time for the Buffalo Wild Wings Lucky Row giveaway. Tonight's Lucky Row is in section 102.
Gieski back in, and Cruz and Franklin will sit down. Well, West Fargo's played plenty of games here in the shack. Sure have. No stranger to that is Coates. Long three, Ramirez, no. Rebound, batted out to Edie. Edie across the timeline, near side to Shahid. 2-3 zone by the Comets. They've been in that all game. Here's Shahid, the drive, the kick to Hunter, right corner. Hunter with their right wing. Hunter now comes free. Oh, nice pass. Look out below. Sam Greasel with the flush. And a great job by Hunter of splitting the defense. 12 and 9 for Greasel tonight, having a heck of a game. Ramirez handoff Schuster. Schuster left wing. Now a dribble drive by Kuntz. Backdoor pass, good look, tough shot. Oh, what a finish by Ramirez. He was underneath the hoop with one hand and a right hand scoop in a reverse. He's got some nice skills. Uh, he can shoot it, uh, crafty. Edie, tough floater in the lane. That's good in the middle of the zone, and the Bison's starting to attack the right way, it feels like now. 58 to 40, NDSU, 12.50 left, coach's choice scoreboard. Lawson swings over, Gieski back out. Ramirez open for a right wing triple off the heel, no. Edie skies for the rebound. Edie hands it off now to Shahid, right wing. Over to Hunter, he catches and releases for a three. Got it! And here we go. This is what we're used to seeing from NDSU offensively. And I think it's important in this second half to get that feel back uh, because that's a, a significant amount of time with not making threes with Kansas State in the first half here tonight. 61 to 40, largest lead of the night for NDSU. Koontz with it on the attack, stops, pivots, kicks back out left corner, Ramirez, he stepped on the sideline. Seeing that more and more with the international three-point line and a turnover. Cruiser in, Griesel out, Lasica in, Lawson out. Here comes Warry, and Schuster sits down for Mayville State. That's a 61-40 advantage for NDSU. And Warry, top of the zone. Good ball movement, middle of the lane, mid-range jumper just outside the lane for Edie. Nothing but net for Tyree. He's got set, or eight points, rather, in a 63-40 lead. Hand off to Ramirez. He attacks, has it knocked away, where he runs it down. Shot blocked by Quay on the lane. He gets it back, put back, no. Rebound, Ramirez, good, off the window. Tell you what, Simon Ramirez is going to give people problems in the NSAA. Yes, he absolutely is. He's going to score a lot of points at that level, no doubt. 15 to 9. Here is Edie. Left block area, back out to Hunter. Hunter behind the back, picks it up over to Cruiser. Edie in the left corner, catch and release for a triple. It's good. And now the Bison, looking like the Bison. From a year ago, they made their last six shots. And it's 66 42. Edie with 11 off the bench. A jumper, Lasica, high archer, no. And Shahid taps the rebound to himself. Next whistle, a media timeout. Between the legs, back out, Edie, 2-3 zone by Mayville State. Back over to Shahid. Shahid drives, gets in the lane, tough shot, no. Edie bouncing around, he's trying to save it, he can't, knocks it out, taps it out to the near sideline. Vinny nearly was able to grab the loose ball, but it'll be Comets basketball when we come back. Largest lead of the night for the Bison. 10.44 to play. Coach's choice scoreboard, 66-40 NDSU. This is North Dakota State University basketball. Bison Nation, it's time to get freaky fast with Jimmy Johns. Tonight. NDSU. 
Here's the big fella, Lasika for a long three. No, Wary offensive rebound, put back good. Malachi Wary, first points of the night, 66-44, Bison. Four Bison under there, one Comet, and the Comet got the rebound and the putback. Sometimes you just can't explain it, right? Right elbow, nice move by Tyree Edie in a mid-range jumper. Edie starting to thrive in that area of the floor of the zone. He has 13. He has a silky smooth mid-range game, a very controlled approach to it, and uh, just smooth out there. Here's a right wing triple by Wary. No, Hunter skies for the rebound. Hunter middle of the floor, eyes up. Here's a pass along the baseline. Samuelson in traffic, back out. Edie, bounce pass baseline. Ward, Ward looking, kicks out. Hunter could look at a right wing triple, ring it up. Excellent ball movement by the Bison. 27 point lead and NDSU has made eight of their last nine shots. You knew it was only a matter of time before this thing would open up. Cross court pass Wary. Wary drives, falls down and travels. Thought he got fouled, but did not get the call. Malik Harden Hayes, Tyler Witz in. Edie Cruiser out for the Bison. So, Hunter, Harden Hayes, Samuelson, Witz, and Ward right now. Kentree Bynum, the 6'3 senior from Visalia, California, checking in for the first time for Mayville State. And they've sat in that zone all night long. Hunter with it, directs to Witz, free throw line. Witz turns, face is going right at Lasica, puts it in. Nice move by Tyler Witz, who has eight points off the bench in five minutes tonight. 73-44, North Dakota State. Weave out front, Wary, hands off now Melendez. Melendez back, another triple, Lasica, no. And the rebound out of bounds. Near sideline, Ward was chasing, he let it go, Bison ball. Not sure they want Lasica shooting a lot of those. It doesn't look comfy. I wouldn't, th yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think 6'9 junior out of split Croatia. Marin Lasica. Harden Hayes, backdoor pass Samuelson, cut off, left baseline. Now backing down Melendez to Harden Hayes, 17 footer, too strong. Rebound to Wary. Now Wary, middle of the floor, Hill attack goes all the way to the rim, blocked by Samuelson. And Harden Hayes on the rebound, and Wary called for the foul. His first team foul number two. The defense by Samuelson in transition. Jared. Who can forget, February 13, 2018, Jared Samuelson with a school record nine threes in that game against Mayville State. Just kept feeding them, he kept knocking them in. Hunter left wing, cross court pass, Harden Hayes right side, now swings down right block to Ward. Ward middle of the lane, backdoor cut, Harden Hayes couldn't grab it. A little too much mustard on that one, turnover. Schuster back in, and where he sits down. Well, we're starting to see the offense get going. That's a good sign because you got Cal Poly coming in Monday afternoon, first ever meeting between the two programs. Yeah, no doubt about it. You want to fine tune things in a game like this. There's been a few of turnovers just like that one right there where they're trying to cut to the basket. It's a good idea. You want to get the timing down on plays like that, but they've been a little off tonight on those. Here's Coates, the young man, played at West Fargo Cheyenne High School. Bynum, on top of the key with it. Schuster and a traveling violation called on Melendez as he just started to get it turned up over there and shuffled a pivot foot. Timeout, 7.44 to go in the ball game. Coach's choice scoreboard, 73-44 North Dakota State. We'll take a timeout. This is NDSU basketball on the Peterson Farm Seed. Bison Radio Network. Tonight, Holden will have one chance to see the full court cut. Week. Wits over to Harden Hayes, backdoor cut turnover, back the other way. I want to talk about this putt right now more yep. than I do the game, actually. That was impressive, that was and he's in, got donuts, and those are good donuts. Those are good donuts for a year. Here's Jiski with it, handoff Koontz. Koontz cut off by Shahid, driving in, Vinny all over him. Back to Wary, starts a drive, hesitates, free throw line all the way left block, tough left-handed scoop shot. 
by Malachi Wary. Hopefully he shares those donuts with somebody or he could have a problem. It makes me, I want to have one right now. Just, yeah, it so sounds great. I was uh, kind of saying that so he could share some with us. Samuelson triple, there you go. Jared Samuelson from downtown buries it. And Samuelson's first points of the season and Koontz throws it away looking to G-Ski. And he wasn't paying attention and Koontz threw it away near sideline. Back to the putt. No. I mean, if it wouldn't have gone through the hole, it would have put a hole in the board, by the way. Yeah. You guys may have had to buy a new one because he put <laughs> some absolute mustard on that. He wasn't going to leave it short, nor should he. And pretty tough to leave it short on the hard one. Samuelson, another triple, rolls off no good in the rebound to Koontz. Yeah, if he'd have missed the putt, he would have been chipping on the next shot <laughs> yeah. if he was playing real golf. That thing would have been off of the green. <laughs> Here's a kick out by Schuster, now wary, aggressive, goes all the way to the bucket, no, and the rebound by Griesel. His 10th, he has a double-double. And the Bison leaves set, lead 76-46. Samuelson, left wing, now Griesel inside Wits, good footwork, right-handed shot, no off the heel, and a late whistle and a foul called, I believe, on Bynum. Late whistle. And Tyler Wits will shoot two. Bynum's first, team foul number four. I mean, it was, it was all of a, a full stroke yep. on the putt. And to think that it didn't touch any of the board, what are the chances? Free throw good by Wits. Yeah, Quayle and Notek in, Shahid and Griesel out. And the court's about a nine on the stint meter, uh, yeah, so, yeah. so you're cooking. I mean, that thing, you put a gun on it, it probably <laughs> was about 15 miles per hour down the court. It yeah. was moving. It wasn't a double breaker, it's a flat court. Yeah. It's a quickie, though. Yeah. You know, they're rolled like almost glass out here, this surface. Second one by Wits is short, Schuster the rebound. But Colton's going to have donuts for a year. Mm. That's just outstanding. I see he and his buddies are up there. They got their phones out there. They're bragging about it on They'll social be talking media. talking about that for a long time. Schuster drives. He has the ball pinned next to his body on the attack. Rather, Kuntz, excuse me. And he goes up. He comes down. He's called for a travel. 77-46. Bison on top with 5.45 to play. No tech over to Quayle. Quayle inside Harden Hayes, free throw line, one dribble. Looking back out to No tech, right wing. Now Harden Hayes over to Quayle, left wing, the up fake. He drives in, pull up mid range, no. Tap try good by Harden Hayes, but no. A whistle and a foul on the floor. Fouls on Schuster. I think he's battling Wits down low. That's six feet against six nine. Tough match matchup there. His first team number four. 20 on the shot clock after the foul. No tech will inbound. Baseline out of bounds for the Bison. Leading 77-46. Headed to their first win of the season here in 2019-2020. Right wing no tech, 15 to shoot. Quayle looks inside. Quayle on the dribble. Backdoor cut. Good pass. Samuelson fouling the way up. Ilasika. Well, Mayville State and Dickinson State, we've seen both of them within a, a week's time here, and uh, they're going to have two games against each other back-to-back -back at the end of January. They're going to have some battles. Yeah, they are. Yes, at, they are. At that level, uh, those will be kind of fun scores to watch. Yeah. Uh, uh, two competitive teams, and uh, they'll get after each other. Free throw good by Samuelson. Bynum in and Wary out. for Mayville State. The comments will play Saturday against Mount Marty at home. Free throw good, Samuelson made them both. Now where's Mount Marty? It's in South Dakota, That's correct? in Yankton, it South is. Dakota, the Lancers of Mount Marty. Okay. It's the third meeting all time between the two programs. Last year, the uh, comments says we have an illegal screen on Lasica. He's starting to rack up the fouls here, number three. The Comets lost at Laddie E. Simple Arena on the campus of Mount Marty College, 81 to 80. But this time at Louis Lee Fieldhouse in Mayville. As we approach five minutes left, Coach's Choice scoreboard, 79-46. Bison, Wits baseline jumper short from 15 feet. And the rebound to Christian Coots. Middle of the floor, Coots looking dribble handoff, nobody home. Over to Lasica, right wing. Back out now, Bynum. Bynum on the drive, right corner. Back out to Lasica. 
And thought about the three, passed it up. Bynum along the baseline. Drives on no tech, kicks out Koontz. Extra pass Schuster. 10 to shoot. Left wing three coming, ring it up. Dominic Schuster from downtown. And 79 49. Mayville State's got quite the history with Tim Miles and Craig Smith. Sure do. That's a great coaching tree right there. Craig Smith uh, at Utah State, good team. No Tech's three from the right wing, nothing but the bottom of the net. And No Tech gets his first bucket of the season. 82-49, Bison. Backdoor cut, pass high, run down, Bynum, pivots, shot too strong. Left side of the lane. Rebound, Harden Hayes, now Quayle. Far sideline on the dribble, top of the key to Samuelson. Samuelson, the hesitation, free throw line, 15-footer, rolls off. Witt's offensive rebound, put back good. And Tyler Witt's in double figures. He has nine points, and excuse me, 11 points in his first rebound of the night. He'll give the Bison some good minutes in Summit League games. Fouls to use, uh, he will certainly have a role. Schuster on the drive, runs into the brick wall that is Witt's and turns it over. Samuelson down the floor, Harden Hayes couldn't handle in transition, out of bounds. Back to Mayville State. That had the potential to be a poster right there. Yes, it did. <laughs> 3.30 to play. Coach's Choice scoreboard, 84-49. Bison on top. This is North Dakota State University basketball. From the fan zone to the end zone, your local Shields has everything green and gold. Shields is a proud partner of Bison Athletics. Visit your local Shields or purchase online at shields.com. Hey, Bison fans, as you leave the game tonight, catch the postgame show on 107.9 The Fox. Here the head coach of the Bison, David Richmond, and our player of the game. This is the Bison basketball all season long.
14 Country Bison. His second personal foul, 17 foul. Bison will now be in the bonus to the free throw line number 32, Odell Wilson. Thank you. 